Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 160 of Let's Platinum and 100% Neo 2 Remastered. Alright, we're going to move on to the next main mission, the Hidden Monsters of Okohazama. Um, off screen, I did a bunch of stuff, but to be honest, I did it like two or three days ago, so I can't quite remember. And I've been trying, like, I've been a little bit sort of, not worried, but just, um, I guess just not 100% on some of these episodes. Because I really would love to make like a um, like a proper build, but it is very very difficult uh, because it just there's just so many options. So what I did was I just kind of had a look at all the gear that I had, and tried to figure out what would go well together, and that's pretty much all you have to do. I'm gonna use my sort of like hours in the game to help me a sec, help me get through it, and. Eventually, I probably will craft some kind of build, but for right now, I think because these uh, these bosses aren't too bad, I think I can just stick with what I'm doing. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is, I think, even though you know I'd love to get through this as quickly as possible, for the sake of my sanity and being able to make enough episodes to cater for how many days are just flying by. My idea is probably going to be one main mission per episode per day. It's That means that it won't, like it'll take longer but it's not going to take like obscenely long to get through everything. We're already up to, what is it, region 2, so I think it's probably another 15, yeah 15 or so episodes and then we'll get to the DLC. And then hopefully by then I'll have like a pretty sweet build and we can start like blasting through some extra content. So my goal or my uh, strategy here is I'm going to try and just defeat the enemies that I need to defeat. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> That was awesome. I'm going to try and defeat the enemies that I need to defeat as well as the ones that provide... Uh, the ones that are powered up, which I somehow have not come across in this episode, or in this mission, I should say. Because the ones that are powered up will give me... Give me better drops, and that's pretty much what I need to craft my gear. One thing I did do was I got rid of... well, not got rid of, but I put a very large amount of gear into the storehouse. I think the storehouse is infinite, I'm not 100% sure on that. I think it's infinite. I hate having so many pieces in there though, because then it's like, alright, it's like really cluttered. But, um, yeah, I, I put a bunch of pieces in there. And I'm gonna try and go over them over and over and over again until I find some good uh, synergies. And the other thing to note as well that's really important is, to be honest, it doesn't have to be like the most perfect build ever. You don't have to like grind gear forever and to find you know absolutely absolute perfection and everything as long as you have some decent synergies and you're focusing on maybe one or two specific things with your attacks and what you're actually doing you'll be fine so like one thing with this build i'll give an example it's really good at reducing the enemy's key very very quickly so anything that increases melee key damage would be excellent. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that... Well, I probably do, but I don't have all the pieces, and that makes it a bit more difficult. So I'm, I'm doing my best to to come up with something like that. The one, one kind of tactic that I thought might work is... Um, so even this particular Garki was just scorched right there. Last time, actually, I remember last time I wasn't getting that many soul cores, and that seems to be the case again. I think I reduced my soul core chance by quite a lot. Anyway. Oh, oh, there you go. Speak of the devil. I don't really care about Garki soul cores, but other ones would be nice. I can't remember if there's anyone in the trees in this area. Anyway, what was I saying? Let me just think for a second. Oh yeah, so there's a um, there's a piece of gear that increases your melee damage against scorched enemies by a, quite a significant amount. 
there's also a piece of gear, I think it's called Himakome, and it, it's like Brilliant Stratagem or Brilliant Strategist. That one applies a blindness stat effect to enemies who are scorched. Nice, it's pretty decent. So that's really good. Uh, one I tried on practice was um, increasing life drain uh, on water attack. It's not fantastic. Like I had, uh, I had two or three pieces that had life drain plus uh, the guardian spirit that I used early on. Yao Name Hime, I think it is. Ah, oh, tried to get away. He tracked me. Gotta be careful here. Excuse me. Did try to dodge that. But yeah, uh, anything that increases damage on, like when an enemy has a stats effect, that's pretty good. Especially because some of the stuff that you can, like I've got this one, let me see. I've got this, there you go, this water dragon that I have well, actually has melee damage versus scorched enemy, 19.1. This one that I just got has, see this is really good, water damage, melee damage versus saturated enemy, that's that's amazing that one right there. This one's really good too. But um, yeah, synergies like that will work really well. So fingers crossed I can get, get that going. In terms of my level, uh, I'm literally just going to keep just adding one point going down the list and if eventually I do somehow manage to come up with a build I'll probably amend that slightly to take full advantage of it. So there's definitely stuff that I need slash don't need. Okay that was a little bit risky. One thing that I never did before but I have finally after a long time of playing noticed what happened here? is especially the the feathers when you use them you can actually uh, wait nice you can actually use them and then get out and get out of the way before they take effect so i'll try here so do it and then just dodge immediately well okay that one didn't work but i think you get my drift oh my god please die oh there's a gaki some of these ones that have the special effect on them, like the curse, they're kind of hard to find, but they're very worthwhile to kill. You you pretty much want to kill all of them. Look at that, he dropped the divine fragment just from doing the sneak attack. Oh crap. Go, go, go. <laughs> I can't believe I couldn't get this one. Curious crown helm and ooh, fire starter gauntlets. Fire starter gauntlets are pretty good, they increase your fire damage. The downside with them is that they're very, um, actually I've got to be careful here because I think there's a boulder that drops from up top. There's another guy down there, I'm going to get him. Uh, the fire starter gear is pretty good, it increases your fire damage. The downside to it is it is a uh, very light piece of gear. So you can't really, you could wear all of it, but then you'll have like pretty much no toughness and all that kind of stuff. Thank you. Nope. Okay, it takes too long to do that, so we'll do this. It's a bit quicker with the Rice Shoto. Did try and block that. I did drop past, okay, yeah. I was like, I did see another guy, right? Come here. Oh, I thought he would have blocked that. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Don't fall down, no! <laughs> Damn. That's very frustrating. Ah, dear. Okay, also in enemies in Dark Realms will pretty much always be... Tell me that the one you not on Yudo, one I don't need, didn't see me. I don't think he did based on the fact that he hasn't attacked yet. Enemies in Dark Realms will always have the curse status effect, but I don't think they always drop like greens. Oh, this one did. <laughs> don't think they always drop greens, it drops three greens. I'm pretty confident that doesn't always happen. Anytime you see a well, I would recommend knocking it down because it could have a capper in it. Hmm, it's interesting. Didn't expect it to do the, that much damage the second time. Can I? 
Okay, not only would the game not allow me to... Unless I was out of anima, which I doubt. For some reason the game didn't allow me to um, burst counter, and it didn't allow me to block. So I'm not really sure what happened there. Where am I going? Yeah. That's frustrating. Okay, now I want to basically just get through this stage because I think what I'm going to do for the rest of the, of the time is there was a scroll of the demon, which I got previously. Oh, I wonder if this guy's here still. Let's have a look. There was a scroll of the demon that I got previously and I didn't actually complete it. So it might be an idea to try and do that with the rest of the episode. Because some of these episodes are going to take like pretty much exactly 20 minutes and some of them are not. Damn it. All right, let me get you first. Probably a smarter idea. I should also probably go for the treasure chests a bit more than I am. My luck stat is not too bad. Okay, he is there, but he's not powered up, so... He can go away. Okay, let's try this again. So, um... Oh crap, and there's a Garki here as well. No! Okay. Excellent. Oh! Uh... Oh, and a Maelstrom Oni B core as well. Kinda rare. Ah, he saw me. Uh... Okay, that's fine. Get back. Throw. Get back. Throw. Lightning. Are you freaking kidding me, game? What is happening here? Uh, you put like 300 hours into a game and, and you still have stuff that just doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Like, it, the perfect storm of attacks for me to not be able to block or dodge. Ah, man. It's the most frustrating thing in the world. I don't think I did anything wrong, wrong there. I just... It just didn't work out. I'm gonna try and do this. Run, 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 run. I don't think you can chase me in here. Good shot. Oh, I see. Just hitting it anywhere does critical damage. That was good. I find myself using um, bow and arrow like so much more in New Game Plus. Okay, now I've got to be careful, so... Just now, just now I've got to be careful. <laughs> nice. That's less nice. There we go, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Alright, now let's finally get you after dying to you twice. There we go. Yeah, you can counter it, or counter it, you can cancel out of it with your, your dodge move. <laughs> I'm gonna die again. <laughs> okay, got him. Ferryman's robes, also decent. They give, um... Sorry, that that's actually... Wait, uh, is it Ferryman's or something else? I think it's Ferryman's, sorry. Ferryman's is the one that gives, um... Life drain on water attack. It's the other one that I have in my inventory that gives water damage. The Golden Shachi, I believe. Let me just make sure of that. <laughs> yeah, so Golden Shachi gives water damage, Ferryman's gives life drain, water attack. Yes, I've seen these items so many times that I'm starting to learn exactly what they do. <laughs> exactly which one's which. Another little tip that you can use is uh, in regards to getting rid of gear, because that's probably one of the more difficult parts. Um, Anything that's like 150 and divine, but doesn't have a grace on it, is not the worst idea in the world to get rid of. However, especially if you have a duplicate, if you have a duplicate, I highly recommend getting rid of it. Um, if... Uh, the, the only reason why you would want to keep it is for the set piece bonus, and, and on top of that, the set piece bonus combines well with the other graces. So you have to remember that some pieces of gear, let me just have a look around, see if I can find another special enemy. Man. 
All right, no other special enemies, but I don't really have time for them anyway. Okay, this one is actually kind of difficult because he, his health is just crazy if you don't have the damage, but you can just keep reducing his key by quite a lot with specific attacks. So let's see how this works. Always make sure that when you... Oh, nice. If you do this, you can get up close and you can... You can, um... <laughs> Hang on. You can uh, killing blow him. It's very hard to have the time, but it is possible, I believe. Come on. Please, can I... Thank you. If you can burst counter him, you'll get that, um, that key down effect where he, his key will just not recover anywhere near as quickly as it does. As you can see, his key is recovering quite quickly. He does have auto counter, so you've got to be aware of that. Okay, I got very lucky there. He didn't release the arrows. Surprise he's not doing his auto... auto counters. Not that. <laughs> That's the one. This one, I'm not sure how to... how to counter that one. Ooh, that was good. Gotta be a little careful here. <laughs> oh crap. Let's try some of this. Beautiful. Let's try it again. <laughs> That's funny. Obviously don't use lightning on him. Wait, wait, wait. Stay right there. Ah. That one's a good one to counter. No! That one is a good one to avoid. I must have avoided that by millimeters. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, he's getting low on health, but I have been fighting him for quite a while. There is something to be said about, like, just playing the game and learning it. That's going to be your biggest asset in terms of winning. But also, if you want to spend a good hour trying to find a build, that's very worthwhile as well. Oh, I love, I love uh, this, if I haven't mentioned it a million times already, Beyond Infinity is so good. Let me try it, let me try it. If you can, oh crap, I'm gonna transform. <laughs> transform, back away, heal, that was a good one too. No, you're not doing that. Now I'm gonna attack you like crazy and try and... Are you kidding me? I didn't even get one. Barely got one attack off. Okay, well, he's almost dead, and if I lose, I will be extremely upset. Please, please, please. So close. Alright, maybe you can't. Maybe there's not enough time to do the killing blow, but he should be almost dead. One kick. Okay, hang on. Uh, let me get this going. So risky, so risky. Kick. <laughs> Yay! Uh, what do I get? Divine Fragment and four Great Commanders Curious. Nothing else. Alright, let me go back. And by back I mean forward. How is it 18 minutes? What? Bro. <laughs> Just in time, but at the same time I needed to... I wanted to show off the scroll of the demon. Uh, Alright, I'm going to... I'm going to try it anyway. Just at least once. So I grab that. Okay, we unlocked the Shadow Chapter. Let me go into Shrine, level up once. Alright, I'm just going to try this scroll at him because I don't think it's actually a very difficult one. Yeah, it's easy. Flying Bolt and Oni B. So let's just do it. Pretty much exactly the same as the other scrolls that we've done. It's just, you know, a small arena and then you, you take on whoever you take on. And usually there's a boss at the end, so we've got to try and defeat that as well. Alright, let's see how we go. So we're starting with you. Uh, that's actually a really bad start because I don't have any... <laughs> Hang on a sec. I don't have any anima. Careful, careful. One of these. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Stop firing at me! Oh my god, man! 
<laughs> these little jerks. I think the Mitsumi Yazara um, distracted me too too much. Now now I know. Hang on, let's try that again. So do this, do this, drop down. Hang on. Good. Where's the other dude? That one I can counter. I think the other dude didn't show up until later. There he is. Did he not get hit by any of that? That's insane. Come on. Oh, I don't have enough. <laughs> I was frantically pressing the Magatsu Warrior attack. And I didn't have enough. Now, okay, give me the purification. Counter. Ah, oh, it's too close. Water will not work because he is a water type. If uh, fire and lightning works, water won't work. If fire and water works, lightning won't work. And if uh, lightning and water work, fire won't work. But purity will always work. Can I please get a kill here? Thank you. Okay, he got me some decent way to get some greens, to be honest, if you want to just keep repeating demon uh, uh, picture scroll missions. Okay, good, good. One good bonus as well to go for is the... I think it's Benzai 10? It's either Benzai 10 or Bishamon 10. I think it's Benzai 10. Uh, oh no, it's the Flying Bolt. That is a Flying Bolt. I've got to quickly kill you because she's going to slow me down. Oh, good dodge. Bad choice there. Oh, maybe not. One, two, three. I don't know how I didn't get caught there. Oh, I did get caught. It just didn't affect my attack. Okay, awesome. What's next? Oh, another one of you. Okay. And oh, oh yeah, this thing. Okay. Definitely kill these ones first. Um, that's too far away, so I can't counter that. Excellent. Next. Good. Throw. Okay, I should have this. <laughs> that's another thing. You can, um... You can counter burst counters if you can reduce their key before they have the opportunity to, to use it. Alright, we did it. Nice. That wasn't too bad. So remember that there's a trophy for completing 10 picture scroll missions. At first I was like, okay, I guess I'll just keep repeating these picture scroll missions. But to be honest, I like playing the game, collecting the scrolls and then doing each one as it comes. So let's see what I got on this. I don't think it's going to be anything special, but... We'll see. Uh, okay, Purify now can be equipped. Key recovery speed and damage bonus ninjutsu power, right? Which I don't have anything of. So the, the other one's good. That one, uh, what do you call it? The key recovery speed is good, but the other one's not so great. At least I got a green Mitsumi Yazara core. All right, pretty much already times up on this episode. So we're gonna do the, wait, 273, 279. We're gonna do the mysterious one night castle next time. So, for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 160 of Less Platinum and 100% Neo 2 Remastered. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.